Hey guys, now that the digital clock control is working and it's a lot cleaner, I'm just going to make another video. Um, I'm going to start off with the top properties. By the way, this is a Windows Forms control. It extends uh, a normal Windows Forms control and it's all in one class now, which is cool. And it's you can use it as a drag and drop control just like any other control. Alright, so starting from the top, you can change the back color to any color that you want. The back dimming is going to look wrong unless it's a very dark color or black. Okay, you can change the four color, which is the back dimming, the meridian color, and the normal time color. The text property yields the time. You can't really set this. It's not going to do anything. I just decided to make use of it. You can specify between army time and local time. You can specify the dim amount of the back dimming. You can show the meridian and hide it. You can also change the position of the meridian. The meridian is AM or PM. You can optimize the control for transparency. And what this does is it makes sure that everything is not painted with anti-aliasing and that the back color is set to magenta. So this will work if your forms transparency key is set to magenta. I have a bunch of alarm properties down here. You can enable or disable the alarm and then set its time and then you can reference a wave sound path to play when the alarm goes off. I have an option to lock the aspect ratio. This makes sure that the control size is constrained. You'll find this control in my BSF control library. I'll put a link to it in the description.